Hey there, it's Karen with inspiredbygram.com. Welcome to my channel. So this is card number three in a series of four different cards using a touch of ink and Flower and Fields designer series paper. And it's all in the celebration brochure, like I have previously said in the video number one and number two. Um, but I'll quickly show you again. It is found on page 10 of the um, celebration brochure. This goes until February 28th, 2021. And you'll see the designer series paper here. This is free with a $50 product order. And then if you turn the page, you'll find the um, stamp set, a touch of ink. And this is a um, free stamp set with a $100 um, purchase from my online store. So this is the card we're gonna be creating. Um, in this video, it uses the foliage and the beautiful daisy paper as well, and a little bit of um, pool party on the card base. All right, so we're gonna get started creating the card. Um, but first, let me just give you a recap of card number one and number two. So here's the hummingbird card. I used a Just Jade background. And then here is the best wishes with um, the butterfly. So those are cards one, two, and now we're going to be making number three. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I've got all my supplies over here and ready to go. So we'll just go through them really quickly. Um, in this card, I'm using the um, stitch shapes and this is the ovals. So the very smallest oval you'll um, stamp your sentiment on. And then the foliage will be stamped on this um, oval. I believe it is the largest one in the pack. So those are the two things we'll need to stamp on. And also, this is a basic white envelope. And then your supplies, your card base is Pool Party. And it is cut eight and a half by five and a half, and I've already pre-scored it at four and a quarter. We will need to um, stamp on this one as well, because we'll stamp right on the inside of that one. And then you've got Granny Apple Green, which is four by five and a half. And then you've got the flower and fields at three and three quarters by five and a half. So we're going to stamp first. We'll get that out of the way. We'll need, again, we'll need our piercing mat because we're working with photopolymer stamps. And we'll be creating our um, foliage first and then we'll um, switch over to the sentiment. All right, so we've got our stitched oval here. I need to um, create the outline with memento ink. So let me just bring this over here. Um, this is mounted on a D block. And I like to take the memento ink and I just kind of rub it like this. I feel like for me, I get a better impression that way. And then what I want to do is I want to stamp this. Um, you can do it straight up and down. I like to tend to go at an angle just to give it a little bit of character. And there's our image there. And then we're gonna repeat this process with the envelope and also the inside of the card as well. We like to make sure that our patterns um, are throughout everything. And of course, we need an envelope to send our card to someone. So we'll do that as well. So let me just find that card base. It's right here. Just open it up. And then again, I'm just gonna rub this like really, really hard. You can give taps to it. And then we're gonna just tilt it at an angle. And there we go. So then the next thing we're gonna do, I need to get my Granny Apple Green. I totally forgot it at my other desk. So uh, Granny Apple Green looks like this. It's a really bright and cheerful green. Um, I don't use it much, um, but I'm learning to use it a lot more because um, oh, this designer series paper has it in it and it's my favorite paper out of the whole celebration brochure. So what I'm doing right here is, oops, I'm, I'm just kind of hovering over the foliage until I feel like it's a good fit. Now this is gonna stamp outside of the lines and that is meant to be with this stamp set, okay? I'll show you in just a second. So you can see that it get, did get stamped over the edge, but that is to create this kind of watercolor wash. So that is what you want to see when you stamp. We'll try that again. I'm just gonna ink up in the Granny Apple Green. 
And then I'm gonna actually gonna stamp this at an angle just because um, the way I'm videotaping here and I don't wanna put my head in the camera, um, I need to go at an angle here. So I'm just going to rotate it until where I think it's gonna line up the best. And then I just like to give a good press and I'm just moving my fingers throughout so I can get a good even pressure. All right, so that's that one. And now we need to create the same image on our envelope. And you can see how I, I just truly love to, um, just when I stamp, I like to carry the image all the way through. So it'll be on the card front, generally in the inside of the card and also on the envelope. All right, so that is all set. We're done stamping. Um, that and now we just need our sentiment and also another little sentiment on the inside Let me just show you. I stamped the word love. I thought that goes kind of nice to go with this card So we need hello friend and this is on one of our really small blocks the a block and I'm just gonna stamp this with the memento black Looks just like that and now we're going to switch over to the inside of the card and we're going to stamp love, not in Granny Apple Green, which I just inked up in. So let me get my stamp and scrub. Um, how do you guys uh, clean your stamps? I love the stamp and scrub. It's great. Um, I've had them for like many, many years, probably. Well, I know as I was... Um, began stamping like over seven years ago so they hold up great all right I think we are all done our stamping so let's get that ink pad out of the way and we're gonna assemble our card and to do so I love to use the silicone craft sheet on my desk so it doesn't it kind of protects that desk surface all right so we're gonna work with this panel again this is granny apple green and that's cut four by five and a half and then we're gonna Going to take um, the flower and fields. This is cut three and three quarters by five and a half. So it lines up perfectly top and bottom and then on the left and the right side, you're just going to um, just leave a little border. And let me just get that lined right up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's bring our card base in again. We're going to add adhesive to the back side of this panel. And then before I layer it down, I want to just turn it left, you know, upside and down. Um, and I think I like it with the more flowers at the bottom than on the top. So we're going to line it up this way. Um, this is flush on the top and the bottom. And then we got equal borders on the left and the right. Okay, so that's looking really good. Let's add this one here. This is our oval. This is a really a very easy card for any um, stamper, whether you are a beginner stamper or an avid stamper. Doesn't really matter. And then we've got our oval here. Again, we could put it down flush, but you know me. In the other videos, I taught you that Adding a little bit of dimension to your cards and your sentiments just gives it a, just a different feel and a different look. All right, so we're just gonna add this right in this white open space here. I added two dimensions on there. You might be able to get away with one, but I, I'm just, I added two. And then the final step is on the original card, I used the opal rounds, which can be found in the mini catalog. Um, with this card, I'm using the Elegant Faceted Gems because I don't have any more of those opal rounds. We're gonna use the clear ones. They come in two different sizes, small and large. So we're gonna add five of these throughout your card. And you can just kind of put them wherever you want to put them. Now, these little ones don't quite fit in the um, center of those daisies. So I'm just gonna um, splatter two of those in that black area. And then we'll add a few more to, um, we'll add a little bit more of these bigger ones. So we got one, two, three, four, and we just need one more. So let's put one way up in this corner. 
and we call it good. So that is card number three for you guys. Let's take a look one more time. So here is our matching coordinating card number three. And then card number two, which we just made, is the butterfly. And of course, coordinating envelope. Let me turn it this way so we can get all of them in the picture. And then we've got the hummingbird card. Thank you so much with the coordinating envelope. So I will put the video links of these two cards in the description box for this um, this video. And then for all your Stampin' Up! needs, you can visit me at inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for watching.